Hi YouTube, this is a green energy series spray foam. We're going to show you exactly how we install our R19 wall system in a 2x4 wall. First off, the spray foam is generated out of a trailer. All the components are inside this trailer. It's, it's a towable trailer that we have. See the hoses? This is the feed. This feed goes up through the window up there. And what's going to happen is a series of hose out this spray gun here with the trigger. All right, YouTube, you can see we're prepping the windows. The windows have a plastic barrier. And right under the window, you can see we, we already started applying the spray foam around the window. So all these windows are foamed. Now we cover them with a barrier, because when the gun comes in, we start spraying. We don't want the foam to get onto the windows. You can see all the, all the windows are prepped. Foam, barrier, you can see right now, got the foam in this one. Just trimming it back. Here's a trimmer. And you can see it's nice and clean. That's the leftovers down there. And then the barrier will go up. And we'll staple it up there. All right, YouTube. So you can see we're upstairs now. The one inch of foam has been applied. It's been about two hours now. You can see the foam's hard as a rock already. Now in this cavity, the balance, what we're going to do is we're going to install the R13 bat insulation right on top of the foam. It can't have the vapor barrier because this foam actually acts as the vapor barrier on the far side. So if you put a insulation on here, bad insulation that has a vapor barrier, which is the paper that's on the insulation itself, what will happen is the moisture will get trapped in the wall. So what we do is install a vapor barrier, uh, a, a, a bad insulation that doesn't have the vapor barrier on it, and uh, that will go right over the one inch foam. Once we get the inspection, we'll just put the, uh, the sheet rock right up and it's all set. All right, YouTube, so you can see we're installing the bad insulation on the exterior wall. So there's a one inch foam. And now you can see the R13. It's a paperless bad insulation that goes right over it. it. Doesn't have a vapor barrier on it. You can see it says R13 on there, or just 13. And that lets the inspectors know that uh, they're getting an R13 in the wall because normally there's a paper on it and the paper shows the R13. So you can see the top, I'm going to push it into the, into the bat there and it just pushes in nice and gently all the way down and it goes right over the foam and combined with that bat in, with the, R, with the uh, one inch of uh, foam and the R13 comes out to R19.6. You can see we're doing all the perimeter walls. All right. Down below, below the window. Let's see if this picks up. There we go. So all the window all the walls will be done. You can see how we cut around an outlet. Right there. Cut around the outlet. Stuffs it in the bag. Just keep moving on to the next one.